Last night, you may have noticed steep discounts for several new and trending titles on Steam, such as Helldivers 2. But if you purchased these games, you might be confused when you opened them up and realized they weren't what you paid for. This scam set off an insane chain reaction, eventually leading to the removal of almost 800 games from the Steam store. But it's also led many to be confused. After all, Steam responded to the scam almost immediately, and there's no way the developer expected to get a payday from Valve when they only only pay out at the end of each month. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the real reason behind the scam. Because what we saw last night wasn't the actual scam, it was a prelude to the scam. And that scam might very well still happen despite Valve nuking their entire operation. But let's start from the beginning. Last night, I was browsing Steam for sales and surprisingly noticed Helldivers 2 showing up with a 75% off discount at the very top of the sales tab. I was immediately suspicious, and clicking on the game brought me to a store page which appeared to be legitimate, listing the actual developer and publisher of Helldivers 2. I clicked on the developer name, and it brought me to the real Arrowhead Game Studios page, so most would assume that this game had to have been posted by Arrowhead. Head Game Studios. But as you might have guessed, this store page was not the real Helldivers 2 store page. It was a near perfect spoof of it. But there were a few exceptions. There were only a small number of reviews, and the popular user tags for the game were not what you would expect. Scrolling down to the reviews, of course, people were screaming it was a scam. If you purchased the game, downloaded it, and opened it up, what you would actually be playing was a game called called Figurality. See, last night, within a two-hour time frame, six different titles were suddenly renamed and became Helldivers 2, Pal World, Escape from Tarkov, Last Epoch, and a Counter-Strike 2 Prime status upgrade, for some reason. In each case, their store pages were spoofed to appear almost identical to the real store pages, but the games were offered at a hefty discount. A community manager for Pal World posted on Twitter about the issue, referring to it as a wave of fake games and quite concerning, stating that they hope no one was tricked into purchasing. The CEO of Arrowhead Game Studios similarly posted about the issue, asking just how store dupes of their game with Arrowhead Game Studios tags were even possible. And that's the question, isn't it? Let's dig into this even more. Given that this was all done in the span of two hours, it's reasonable to conclude that it wasn't a coincidence. This was all done by the same person. In the case of Figurality, it was a game released originally on November 4th, 2023, and lists the developer Soul On Board Studio. Eventually, this developer renamed to Albobs and then B-Side Studio, last night ultimately becoming Arrowhead Game Studios. It was the same story with all the other games. These games all released on November 4th, 2023 using a bogus developer name, were renamed twice to other bogus names and were then finally used to spoof a real game development company. Shortly following the creation of these spoofed pages, the store pages for these games were removed. Valve received reports from the developers and publishers and responded promptly. In the span of just a few hours, people could no longer purchase these scam games. In other words, Valve had dealt with the issue. Case closed, right? Not quite. As of this morning, this scammer still had games listed under three aliases, B-Side Studio, Fest Studio, and Oak Sand. The games were all released in November 2023, and shortly after I saw them, they were already hidden on Steam. But it's clear that these games were being uploaded by the dozen and were not legitimate game projects. Their prices were artificially inflated to ridiculous levels, which is a tactic done to exploit the Steam review system. It works like this. Steam reviews only count toward the review score if they're purchased through Steam. A developer can drop the price of their game, purchase it on numerous fake accounts, post fake reviews using those accounts, and then bump the price back up. The inflated price prevents any legitimate purchases of the game, so no one can leave a review that will actually affect the review score. As evidence of this, the lowest 
recorded price for figurality in Russian rubles specifically is weirdly low compared to all the others. That's because developers set regional pricing on Steam. They simply drop the regional price of their game in their region to an extremely low price, then buy it up on numerous accounts and raise the price back to normal. These fake reviews meant people opening up the store page for Helldivers 2 or Pal World saw mostly positive or overwhelmingly positive reviews. Ultimately, this exploit aided in the spoofing of these game store pages. But this doesn't explain how scammers can just take on the name of an established developer or publisher. Steam takes a 30% cut of game sales. One would think they would have regulations in place to prevent such changes from ever happening. Instead, scammers can change which developer is placed on their game seemingly at will to anything they want which is kind of crazy. This scammer literally changed his name to Valve. In a previous video, I called out a scammer named Atomic Fabric, aka Christian Monolaki. His response was literally just removing his name from all of his games, or using one of his dozens of aliases. If scammers on Steam can just change their names at will, how are we supposed to keep them accountable for their actions? Regardless, to their credit, Steam has removed the games very quickly, and users at least the ones who have opened the games to realize they've been scammed, can easily refund the titles. However, I would argue that the real scam isn't even happening on Steam. It's happening on gray market websites. These scam games may have been removed from the store and retired from Steam, but if you look at the package, the restrictions are just placed on cross-region trading and gifting. Key redemption appears to be possible as normal. And this is very important, because a user on Reddit named Tree Smasher FTW noted how they had purchased a random Steam Key bundle, and all the games they received were from B-Side Studio, one of the aliases the scammer uses. In case you don't know what random Steam Key bundles are, well, they're exactly what they sound like, just not random. Vendors promise that the games included in their random key packs will have great reviews and be high value games, but the reviews are fake and the prices are inflated. Tree Smasher FTW noted that upon trying to redeem the key for Stolen Mushrooms, the game which was spoofed as Pal World, that the key showed up as just Pal World. This is the scam. Even though the spoofed Pal World store page was removed, Steam still seems to recognize the game as Pal World. Of course, it isn't Pal World, it's Stolen Mushrooms. Unless Valve bans these keys from use, they can still be sold on grey market sites. And even if the keys are banned, the keys already registered to accounts will likely still show up as the games that they're spoofing. For example, the developer of Only Up removed the game from the Steam store and retired it from Steam. But if you look in your Steam library, the game still appears as normal. Selling accounts with games already registered to them is a common practice on grey market sites, and it might be about to get a lot more profitable. Random Steam key bundles were already awful and a total waste of people's money, but now it seems like people might start receiving popular titles only to realize they're fake after downloading and opening them up. And good luck getting a refund from G2A support for these games when they show up as completely normal in your library. Now here's where things start getting funny, because this imbecile had the gall to disguise themselves as Valve. But after their scam games were removed, they didn't stop there. A variety of sequels to incredibly popular games all at once started popping up in Steam's database. Dota 3, Elden Ring 2, to Rust 2, Ready or Not 2, Lethal Company 2, Last Epoch 2, and Grand Theft Auto 6. What a wild coincidence, right? But after that, immediately following, nearly 800 games were removed from the Steam store. One of my favorite things is that even during this massive purge of games, the scammer was still trying to sneak more games onto the store. I don't know how many of the 800 games were from this scammer specifically. Given how they pumped them out by the dozen, I believe it's possible that they all were, but it was really just a beautiful sight to see. However, it's 
also kind of a testament to how many scam games get onto Steam and for such a long time go without any repercussion. Like this dumbass had to actually impersonate Valve in order for them to do something. And meanwhile, scammers like Atomic Fabric and Heed have been doing this for years and barely even have to hide it. Either way, it's a mostly happy ending to the story, unless you buy random Steam key packs, which I've hopefully convinced you not to. Why buy one of those random Steam key packs when you can just buy Hollow Knight instead? And keep an eye out for similar videos from me in the future because I want to create a community where we can collectively point and laugh at these scammers, kick them while they're down, and hopefully prevent people from falling victim to their lies.